Did you hear that? Her, she comes from a family of veterans as well. Maybe that's for graduation, didn't he? Yeah. Yep. They must have got me in a, you gotta clean them up a little bit. It could use them, you know. Sharpen them. Uh huh. I'll have to sharpen them. Well, I imagine you would, but uh, that ain't that bad feeling. It's not that bad. Uh -uh. Yeah. So, so, how old were you when you first better. when you first started cutting hair? You should probably better. You just moved. Twenty eight. Okay. After your military service? After military service. Okay. Yep. And then she got here and then she went off to do like. Did. You, use, you can use them on her. Yeah. No, I went off. I took a break from cutting hair. I went back to school. Um, I worked for the state for the Department of Workforce Development um, for just under five years. And then I was the executive director of the Arc of Dunn County in Menominee. It's a disability services nonprofit. And I was there for five and a half years. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I decided I just wanted to connect to doing what I really enjoyed. And here I am. Um, basic training graduation picture and my grandpa Dean's. So these are his tools right here? These are, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. How old do you think they are now? All I know is when I came in, I told her about you come here. And 25 years old, 30 years old. He gave those to me in 2009. Mm. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. 